Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a new session of this channel and today's topic is related to one of the most important topics under statistics. Why these topics are so much important? Because they are related very much to the construction of frequency distribution. These topics are as class width, class limits, midpoints and class boundaries. First of all, we study the uh, easiest one which is class limit and class limits are the lower limit and upper limit of every class interval. This is the lower limit. This is the upper limit. This is the lower limit. This is the upper limit. 40 is lower limit. 59 is upper limit. So class limit is combination of lower limits and upper limits. The lower limits are in the left side and upper limits are the right side. The second point is about class width. What is class width? Class width shows the difference between every class interval. We can take it as horizontally and vertically, but mostly we take it as vertical. The difference between 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80. When we are finding the difference between them, we are finding the class width. It means the class size. So it is very much easy. You can take the difference between 0 to 20. So 20 minus 0. Uh, 39, uh, 40 minus 20. 40 minus 20. So it will become as 20. It's also becoming as 20. And by same way, every class interval will give the same result. On the other hand, if we take vertically this upper limits, 19, 39, 59, 79, 99. If we subtract 79 from 99, the result would be 20. If we uh, subtract 59 from 79, then also it will be as 20. I hope it's all understandable and you're getting the logic behind. The third point is midpoint. What is midpoint? In previous lectures, we studied how to convert um, midpoint into class intervals. We were having midpoints and by using some methods, we were able to find the class intervals. But in here, the situation is something else. In here, the class interval has been given to us and what we are doing, we are finding the, uh, this midpoint. How we will find that? We take the average of every lower limit and upper limit. 0 plus 19 divided by 2. 0 plus 19 divided by 2 is equal to 9.5. Or we can take another class, 40 plus 59. 40 plus 59 divided by 2 because we are having only one lower limit and one upper limit. That's why we are taking the average of both of them. And the result would be 49.5. And we are having all the list for every midpoint. And it is given here. I hope this was also easy. And the last point is, the last point here, class boundary. Why we need to make class boundary? Why is it so much important? Because class boundary makes the border attached to each other. How it will make attached? Now suppose in here, 0 to 19. Mm, then we are having 20 to 39. If a number is coming between 19 to 20, then where we include that? Suppose we are taking it as 19.5. This 19.5 is a number which should be included in this class interval, but we cannot include that. Why? Because it is a starting from 0 and it will be finished to 19. And here, then again it is a started from 20 and it is finishing to 39. We cannot include it here. Why we cannot include? Because there is no chance for us to include this. In here, between 19 and 20, there is difference of 1. We should uh, delete, we should de avoid this uh, difference between the both numbers. How we will do that? In here it says, for this purpose, take difference of upper limits of previous class and lower limit of the present class. We consider this, we consider this as previous class and this as present class. So we take the difference between them. Difference between 19 and 20 is 1. We can take it in another class intervals as well. We take this as previous class and this as present class. What is the difference between 59 and 60? The difference is 1. And after finding that number, what we do that, we divide it into two because in here also we need one upper limit and one lower limit. So we divide one to two and the result would be 0 
Now in here, what we do with 0 0.5? What is the logic here? Now we add this 0 0.5 to every upper limit of every class interval. And we subtract it from every lower limit of every class interval. If we add this 0 0.5 to 0, uh, sorry, if we add this 0 0.5 to 19 it will become as 19.5 and if we subtract this 0 0.5 from 0 it will be minus 0 0.5 if we add this 0 0.5 to, to, uh, to 39 it will become as 39.5 if we subtract it from 20 it will become as 19.5 in the same way we continue if we add 0 0.5 uh, to 59 it will become as 59.5 and if we subtract this 0 0.5 to 40 it will become as 39.5 and what is the result here the result now we can see that this is 19.5 this is also 19.5 this is 39.5 this is 39.5 now there is no issue in here if 19.5 is coming we can include it here because now the class interval is very much properly identified by us. By this way, if we are having 39, 39.6, where we should include this? We are having 39.5 to 59.5. So it will be includable in this class interval. Otherwise, if this number was coming earlier we were not able to include it in this class interval because we are not having that availability here i hope you have found this video informative and useful if then press the like button and do not forget to subscribe and one thing more if you are having any suggestion any objections all of them are welcomed and appreciated have a good day take care and bye bye